Alright, hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of The Sims 2 Strange Town. Alright, so today we are back and we are on part four, I believe. So we have one more family, or two, well, yeah, including this family, we have one more family to introduce in our Strange Town family. So today we are introducing the Curious Brothers. They live at Two Cover Up Road and their little family bio states that in search of truth and mystery, the Curious Brothers got more than they were expecting. Can Pascal, Laszlo, and Vidgood cope with their new roles as cosmic parents? Okay, so when you pop in, you say that we have um, an expecting father. <laughs> Which is interesting. But anyway, it says Vidkid wants to explore the heavens, but his new telescope might bring him a little too close for comfort. Alright, so before we get started with a little bit of gameplay, let's go ahead and introduce the brothers and all of that as we usually do. So, I mean, it's currently a uh, one o'clock in the morning, it's one eleven, uh, which is an interesting time to start this gameplay. But you know what? I know why, and you're about to find out why. But anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and introduce the brothers here. So it looks like the uh, is he the oldest? I thought he was the youngest. Hmm. Apparently he's the oldest. But uh, anyways, this here is Pascal Curious. I was trying to get to where I can get a good look of him, but it looks like he's being a little bit complicated. So I'm gonna get him to get up for a second. Okay, come on, let's let's. I, I need a good look at you, buddy. All right. Okay. <laughs> Waddle over here. All right. So this is Pascal Curious. His bio states that no matter what happens, Pascal believes there is a logical explanation for everything. In his free time, he practices home psychoanalysis and collects conspiracy theories, which is my friends. I love conspiracy theories. I feel like me and Pascal could probably be really good friends because that sounds really cool. But anyways, he is a Scorpio and um, he's even though he's got a little baby bump, he's, he's pretty fit. Um, let's see, let's get to his memories. So we see he um, was potty trained, whatnot. Uh, Jenny, oh, by the way, last part, if you have not watched it, be sure to check it out. We introduced the Smith family, which included Jenny Smith, which I did explain to you guys that she was the sister of the Curious Brother. So, yeah, that's why well, I'm referring to Jenny as like we already know her, most of us do. So, Jenny grew up well. Um,. So, yeah, I'm assuming that Jenny is the oldest, possibly. Yeah, Jenny's the oldest. Um, he learned to walk. He had, Vidka joined the family. He learned to talk. Uh, he grew up well. Met Mystery Sim. Laszlo joined the family. Vidka grew up well. Laszlo grew up well. Jenny grew up well. He learned to study from Glam. What? Oh, Glorn, y'all, I'm so sorry. Like, okay, my eyesight is already bad to begin with, but fun fact, pregnancy affects your eyesight, like when you wear contacts. So it's made my eyes like 10 times worse. So he learned to study from Glorn, Glorn, which I'm assuming is somebody in his family. Um, <laughs> he grew up well, lost a fight with General Buzz, got an A-plus report card, got into a private school. Vidkid grew up well, got rejected for very first kiss by Kersey. Had very first kiss with Mystery Sim. Kissed Mystery Sim for the first time. Okay, pause real quick. Because if we go back to the very first part of our strange town where we introduced the Beaker family, we talked about Nervous Subject. And he also had the same memories, which was kissed Mystery Sim for the first time. And I applied that, you know, word on the street, word to the grapevine, is that the Mystery Sim, which I know a lot of people have already told me because I've said, who is this mystery sim? Everybody says, oh, it's just, you know, a little filler. It can be anybody you want it to be, which is so lame to me. I don't like that, which is, they're, I'm sure you're right. But, uh, I mean, I just, that just takes all the excitement away from it being somebody, like, specific. And for you to figure out because Strange Town is a mystery. And I don't remember there being mystery sims from 
you know, pleasant view in their memory. So, you know what? For this storytelling, since we can fill it in with whoever, I'm thinking that this first kiss, mystery sim for Laszlo and um, nervous subject is each other because they, we are we are going to find out, if you don't already know, that they are very good friends. And a lot of people always have them end up in a relationship together, which, you know, seems likely. So, anyways, moving on. He grew up well. Jenny got engaged. Kitty died. Vidkid grew up badly. Jenny got married. Laszlo grew up well. He got a job, got promoted. Glarn died, and he met aliens. Um, failed to mention that he got impregnated by aliens, but yeah, he met aliens. All right, his turn-ons is blonde hair. Uh, logical. He likes him very logical, very smart. And his turn-off is red hair. So his career, he is a lab assistant, so he is in the scientist career, which makes a lot of sense. His relationships, okay, his family tree, yeah, Glarn, that's Glarn, not Glam. <laughs> that's his dad, Kitty is his mom, and like I said, Jenny, Laszlo, and Vidkit are his brothers. So he is, he's not like friends with his brothers, but they have a pretty decent relationship, um, as well as with Jenny. But he is friends and has the highest relationship with the nervous subject. There is no, like, romance between them, but, you know, mm. <laughs> and Loki Beaker is his enemy, which would make sense because Loki Beaker has nervous subject as the test subject and just treats him horribly and, you know, nervous is his, you know, friend, potential lover, you know, in, in the closet at the moment. Um, and he's, you know, he, he's, he's familiar with General Buzz Grunt, but apparently he had lost a fight with General Buzz Grunt. All right, and uh, he is the, he has the knowledge aspiration some of his wants is to talk to nervous gain a skill point sell a great novel and hire a maid and yeah so that's pretty much it for uh pascal and then in case you haven't noticed or don't know the story he's pregnant by aliens he's gonna have an alien baby which most of us know that even in the sims 4 your male sims and they you know they can get abducted and have children alien children same with sims 2 and sims 3 and all that fun stuff it's usually men that's the only way they can get uh, pregnant is to get abducted by aliens so moving on this is vidkud uh <laughs> which his hair i mean he doesn't look like he thurbin to me but i don't know something about his hair <laughs> uh this is vidkud so his bio states, serious and exact, Vidka strives to fit the universe into a nice, tidy package. He has an unnatural fondness for African violets. Violets. For African violets. Interesting. <laughs> uh, he is a Scorpio as well. He's not as fit as his brother, but, you know, he, he's almost there. Um, okay, his memories. Let's see. Uh, Pascal grew up well, potty trained, learned to walk, Laszlo joined the family, learned to talk, um, grew up well, met Kersey, Laszlo grew up well, made best friends with Laszlo, Jenny grew up well, Pascal grew up well, grew up well, had very first kiss with Kersey, kissed Kersey for the first time. Okay, Laszlo grew up well, lost a fight with General Buzz, and went steady with Kersey. So I did mention this as well in the Beaker family um, that Vidkud is Kersey's ex-boyfriend. But we just read that Pascal tried to kiss her and was rejected for a kiss as well. So, I mean, like, <laughs> that's, that's a little weird. Like, bro, I wouldn't be, like, for that, you know? We're going for the same girl, but... <laughs> I mean, this, 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 this family's got, they got some issues. Well, they very interesting. Um, but yeah, he went steady with Kersey, had an accident, broke up with Kersey. Um, maybe he was embarrassed. I'm not really sure. Pascal grew up well. Jenny got engaged. Kitty died. Grew up badly. Jenny got married. Laszlo grew up well. He got a job. Glarn died. Got a promotion. And Pascal met aliens. All right, so... We go to his turn-ons. He likes jewelry, and he likes um, hard-working sims. His turn-offs is swimwear. He is also a lab assistant in the scientist career. 
And as far as his relationships goes, he is best friends with his brother Laszlo, but he's not very close to Pascal, which, you know, it could have something to do with, he, you know, he, tr he might be holding some grudges against him because he tried to kiss his ex-girlfriend. I mean, I don't know. Um, oh, he also still has feelings for Kersey, so he still has a crush on her. And they're still friends, so they're still pretty close, but he's still in love with her. He's a pretty decent, you know, acquaintances, pretty decent relationship with Jenny. He also knows Crystal Vu, and he is enemies with Loki Beaker, and he also knows General Buzz Grunt and Nervous Subject. All right, he also has the knowledge aspiration, and his wants is to hire a maid, maintain the logic, skill, win a game, and to meet aliens. All righty, moving on to our last brother right here. Um, all right, so, yeah, I don't know what's up with him wearing the glasses, like the sunglasses inside. Just, I'm not for it at all. Don't like it. But his bio says, not as studious as his older brothers, Laszlo got his degree in phrenology. <laughs> what? <laughs> he likes to call phone psychics and spends hours trying to bend forks with his mind. Okay, you know what? Pause while Carissa Googles what phren phrenology is. Okay, phren phrenology is the detailed study of the shape and size of the cranium as a supposed indication of character, character, I can't read, character and mental abilities. Interesting, okay. <laughs> and he is a Sagittarius, and let's go to his memories. Vic could grow up well, potty train, learn to walk, all that great stuff, grew up well, met Mystery Sim, made best friends with Vid could. Jenny grew up well, Pascal grew up well, Vid could grow up well, learned to study from Glarn. Um, also, another thing I just noticed, uh, it looks like Pascal was the only one that got into private school. I don't remember that memory in Jenny's, and I haven't seen that memory in the other brothers, which is interesting. Um, he lost a fight with General Buzz, had very first kiss with Mystery Sim, kissed Mystery Sim for the first time, wonder who his Mystery Sim is, what do you guys think? Pascal grew up well. Jenny got engaged, Kitty died, Vidka grew up badly, Jenny got married, grew up well, got a job, burned mac and cheese, got a promotion, Glarn died, got a promotion, and Pascal met aliens. Alright, his turn-ons is a uh, stink, okay, he likes, he likes it a little natural and musky, okay, I'm not judging, but I really am. Um, he also likes, you know, fit, athletic body types, okay, and his turn-offs is hats. He is a field researcher in the scientist career, so he is a little bit more advanced than his brothers, even though he is not as studious as them. Um, apparently, he's a little bit more of a hard worker. His relationships, like I said, he is um, best friends with his brother Vidkud. Um, he's pretty hmm, close to his Pascal and Jenny, and oh, he's friends with Crystal Vu, and he also has a crush on her. Cute, okay. Nervous subject, he knows him, as well as General Buzz Grunt. He has the knowledge aspiration as well. They all three want to hire a maid. He wants to maximize the cooking skill, which, I mean, he, he burnt mac and cheese, but, I mean, okay. Okay, I, I admire, I admire the, uh, the goals you have. <laughs> he wants to meet aliens, and he wants Vidka to meet aliens. Which, if you ask me, meet aliens means they all just want to be knocked up by aliens. <laughs> Which is weird. Okay, but you know what? That's just what these brothers like to do, right? So, this is their house, which is a very interesting house. Check out my speed build in The Sims 4. I did a whole series, Sims 2 to Sims 4. Kind of like I'm doing with The Sims 3. Really, really cool building this house. Very hard, very interesting. But, you know what? We did it. We accomplished it. So, yeah, this is their house. Okay, let's go all the way back downstairs. All right, and if we come inside here, we have this little area with a little chess table. Um, interesting little desk sitting area set up with two TVs. Okay, and we have the little kitchen area. We have our little alien. We're already prepared for a little alien baby. I mean, he, Pascal knew what he was doing. This was their, I mean, they want to get knocked up by aliens, I'm telling you. Uh, then we have over here like a little, what would you call this? 
plant room. I don't, I don't know the appropriate, like, professional <laughs> term for that. So, yeah. We have this nice little green bathroom here, smack dab in the middle. We have this bedroom, which, um, I mean, I'm assuming is a Vidkid's bedroom. If, if, if I was to guess, I would say this one's Vidkid's. This one's obviously Pascal's because he has his little baby crib already. And then I imagine this one being Laszlo's only because it has the child chair and he's the youngest. That's my, you know, that's why I would assume that's his room, but who knows. And then out front here, he has like a little door right here to a little patio with the cooking area and a little table. And obviously if you go upstairs, um, up a lot of stairs, we have some like lawn chairs right here. And we have a telescope down here, but then also, all the way up here, we have another telescope. And some more lawn chairs, which I think this one right here, I think this baby is, is the one that uh, gets us abducted, which I'm sure they all do, but you know what? I'm going to try this one. So, we have the little notification that Vidkid wants to meet aliens, pretty much. So, I'm going to have him go ahead and come all the way up here and stargaze, which you know what? Yeah, why not? Let's have him stargaze. I was like, oh, it's going to take him a while to get up there, but okay, you know what? It's worth it. We're going to see what happens. Um, the rest of y'all, uh, can you, like, fill his belly? Yeah, can we, like, talk to his belly? Like, wow, we're going to have a little alien baby. He also wants to meet aliens. I'm going to go ahead and save that because I just imagine them all possibly having alien children just because that's what they're interested in, so... Yeah, oh, he's like, no, <laughs> get your own, get your own alien, baby brother. All right, so and we're going to come over here and use the restroom. Uh, he's not even sleepy. Oh, okay, well, uh, how are you doing? Oh, he's almost there. Okay, so let's see what happens. I'm, oh. And, um, it's huh? Quash. Hey, quash that. Hey, get it. Okay, he got what he wanted. <laughs> he uh, is getting to meet the aliens, and he's going to come back impregnated, I'm sure, which means we're going to have two alien babies, which is it's just cute. They're cute, right? And Laszlo also wants to meet aliens, but I think I'm going to hold off on that for a little bit because, I mean, I don't want to be dealing with three babies at the same time. That's just a little much for me. I mean, whew, it's a big, uh, big little thing to achieve or tackle there, you know, three babies. I just can't do it. So we're going to hold off on that for a little bit. We're going to have him come over here and use the restroom as well. I mean, there are sleeping schedules all jacked up because neither they're not tired um he's still not back yet but i don't know how long it's going to take for him to return home but his needs are obviously going like haywire probably going to go ahead and order a maid or order a maid is that how you do it do you order a maid no we're going to hire a maid we'll have laszlo go ahead and do that um, because obviously I think they're a little bit messy and like they're men they're okay like they're probably not going to clean up after themselves let's be honest so let's go ahead and hire a service okay so somebody will be over today which I'm assuming she will be over at a decent hour I don't think she's coming back anytime soon <laughs> <laughs> he's like well, what just happened okay so um wow well, yeah his aspiration meter is through the roof he's going to use the restroom so his needs thankfully they didn't drop him off um with like these terrible low needs and it's like laszlo's like dude it happened you met aliens i'm next Woo. okay yeah they're gonna definitely bond over that i'm sure but you know, he's wide awake and 
Obviously, he hasn't gotten his baby bump yet. I'm pretty sure it's not going to come, like, immediately. So, anyways, with all that fun stuff being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up here because, you know, we was just doing our little introductions and, you know, just giving you a taste of what we're going to be dealing with with this interesting family. Lots of aliens, lots of alien babies, lots of fun stories to, you know play out here so let me know what you guys think what stories you want to see and uh yeah with that being said if you liked it give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you have not love y'all very much and i'll talk to y'all later bye